In this lesson, I want to discuss the one of the spinothalamic pathways known as the anterior spinothalamic pathway or uh, anterior spinothalamic tract. So we mentioned that uh, there are three major somatosensory pathways. Two of them are spinothalamic, which means they go from the spinal cord, seen here, spinal cord, and the thalamus that we will see here. And I'm going to erase those so we have this clear. And we see there's a spinothalamic, and then there's one that is uh, primary spinothalamic, uh, and then uh, and we'll talk about uh, spinocerebellar. But most of these are, in fact, that. So as we begin ourselves with the anterior spinothalamic tract, uh, we actually begin ourselves, uh, the spinothalamic tract, I'm going to draw it in green, will be sitting here. And I'm going to bring in on this side our touch. Now, we talked about the last one was light touch and proprioception. Here we have crude touch. Crude touch is going to come in. And remember, there are cell bodies in the dorsal root ganglia for sensations. So I'm going to draw all that. And then the first order neurons will continue on here to the anterior gray horn. Now, once we meet the anterior gray horn, the second order neurons will take over. And the, so I'll draw a little arrow here for the transmission. And then we cross here to the anterior gray commissure. Let me draw this a little neater. And we cross over here all the way to our pathway. And then we take ourselves all the way up from there to the thalamus. And after that, we're at the thalamus. We cross over to the third order neuron out to the homunculus. And if this is crude touch here, this might be more for your fingertips right here. So if I had uh, crude touch in my fingertips, this is about where it would be registered in the brain. So this does show you a pretty good idea of the sensory uh, pathway for crude touch as it passes into the dorsal root, spinal nerve into the dorsal root ganglia, dorsal root, into the, uh, into the posterior gray column or posterior gray horn uh, as we cross in there to the anterior gray commissure across into the white matter as it will go up through that pathway uh, all the way so the third order neurons are a lot longer as that goes to the thalamus. Thalamus, then we integrate that out to the brain, to the cerebral cortex for where that will register that sensation. And that includes the anterior uh, spinothalamic pathway. And you will see videos on uh, next to the lateral spinothalamic tract. And then we'll look uh, lastly at the cerebellar spinal, the spinocerebellar pathways. Uh, that we can see uh, as we try to take this reception into our bodies. And this concludes my video.